This video will demonstrate the easiest way of doing forecasts in Microsoft Excel. If you would like to learn about linear forecasts or ETS forecasting, check out these videos. Before we continue, this forecasting option does not exist in Excel for Mac. For this video, I'll be using the same template and same data we had for forecast.ets. The same arguments will be used as well, and the same logic applies. So the first thing we need to do is to select the columns with data, the column with months, that is our timeline, and column with sales, that's our values. Then we need to click on the data tab and click on the forecast sheet. In the forecast sheet, we have several options we can observe. For example, we can see the confidence interval. We can set uh, seasonality. This can be either detected automatically or set manually. And let's see how the graph is changing with the seasonality being changed. So as you can see, it has the quite of the impact. We have the option for filling out missing data points, either as zeros or interpolation. Zeros means that these sales points, if something is missing, will be substituted with zero. Interpolation would mean that if the data, for example, in May 21 is missing, the adjacent two fields would be averaged out. And that's what we would get. And we can select how to aggregate duplicates either by using averages, count, count A, max, median, minimum, or sum. We can present data either as a line chart or as bar charts. I'm personally choosing line chart. Next thing to do is to click create. And here it is. Microsoft Excel just created the forecast for us. We can see the forecast values. We can see the lower and the upper confidence bounds that are based on the confidence interval that was also calculated. And we can see the graph. This is the easiest way to do a forecast in Excel. I hope you like this video. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.